I'm making this demo to show uh, the importance of reprojection error and the reason that I record videos through the lens when I can instead of through the front-facing camera. The front-facing camera of the HoloLens 1 and 2 is about an inch above the eyes, which means that it cannot possibly accurately represent what the user actually sees. So, uh, let me close this cord, I guess. What I'm going to do is have a comparison of the front-facing camera, which I'm recording in sync with a webcam that is taped in the eye part of the HoloLens. And um, what you should see is that the webcam's alignment is a lot better than the front-facing cameras. And that's because the webcam is located where my actual eye is instead of, you know, above it. Uh, the alignment's still not perfect. It's not, it doesn't perfectly represent what I see, uh, partially because the webcam I'm using doesn't quite fit in the lens, but it should give you an idea of why it's important. So what I'm gonna do is just do things with my fingers, and you can try to see for yourself how aligned they are. One of the reasons that you don't normally notice this when you see other demos on YouTube is because not many people try to align real objects to virtual objects. But with these new hand tracking features, it'll become a lot more obvious to people that the front facing camera is not aligned. I'm not really sure why AR headsets refuse to put this, the camera between the eyes. The Magic Leap has, it, it has an IR camera, or two of them I think, between the eyes, but they're not RGB, so you can't actually record through them. And so, even with the Magic Leap, having those cameras between the eyes, when you record, it records like from one of the RGB cameras on your left or right, making it borderline useless. Um, what else? Oh, move things around. I'm trying to keep my hand in the field of view, which is not the easiest thing to do. My my head is not actually in the headset incorrectly. Move the cheese around. Hand tracking still handles really hard poses, which is nice. But it would look a lot different when I record from the front facing camera. Barely see what I'm doing. Um, I guess I can use my not tying demo. I hope this is still recording. Let me check. Yes, I see a video camera icon. I'll try my not tying example again since I'm doing a comparison this time to show the reprojection error. Just to show you why it's important that you record through the lens if you're going for any kind of accuracy. No, untie it. I'm also going to record another one of these through the drawing app. And the drawing app should be okay, I guess. Um, this is the visualization that's a little bit too bright for the webcam to get correctly. So I'm gonna keep tying some knots. I'm trying to look at OBS Studio at the same time, which is not the easiest thing to do. So yeah, I think that's enough for this demo. I'll record another showing the drawing app because that has the handout lines, which are more helpful.
So here's the drawing app, and I'm trying to move this camera a little bit. Uh -oh. I don't know, with this setup where I have to wear the headset and somehow have the webcam in my eye at the same time, I don't know that I'll ever get these hands perfectly right, but I'm just doing another comparison. By the way, this black box that's in the field of view here is the eye tracker. The eye tracker is near the nose and it points into the eye. But anyway, I'll do some drawing motions so that you can see the comparison between the video that the HoloLens is recording and what the webcam that's in the eye is recording. From my name, I guess. Uh, close enough. The webcam is auto-focusing in the wrong place. Which would stop that, but... I don't know. Um, I guess I'll keep doing knot tying. Since that's the use case. For our research, at least. And it's also a nice... Uh, it also shows the hand pose, the, the harder hand pose is better. The only thing is I think where the webcam is located, let me move here. Where the webcam is, I'm going to erase this stuff. I can't see anything. Uh, this. I think this was erased. Large. Whoa. I actually like this painting app a lot, though. It's free, and it uh, you can just download it off the Microsoft Store. It's not 20 bucks like Tilt Brush, which isn't even that good, in my opinion. And Tilt Brush is like five years old, and somehow its price hasn't changed. Um, all right, uh, let me do knot tying. Before, I just couldn't see my hands, and you wouldn't have been able to either. At least now I can clearly see my OBS Studio screen. As opposed to last time where I could barely see anything at all. So. You can see it handles these hand poses really well. And this is a hard case. And I'll do this. And this kind of praying motion. It's a hard case that does not that does break the HoloLens at some point, but I think it fares a little bit better than other systems do. It's just because once the hands are completely occluded, I mean, what's it going to do? Um, Crisscross fingers. Oh god. It was like a muscle stretch exercise. And my arms aren't long enough for this. So that confuses it. It does pretty well with the estimation until the hands are almost completely imposed on, or superimposed on each other, which makes sense. The quest gets confused when the hands are basically anywhere near each other. And the leap motion is just really bad at prediction in general. Um, while I have more time, I'm just going to untie this. Just for more hand poses so I never have to do this again. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I need. Video. It's still recording, I guess. I'm going to turn it off. 